Hello, and a very warm welcome to my channel. This morning, we give you a shocking reveal by a royal author. Megan's diva attitude has ruined her relationship with Kate. A frosty incident saw royal couple Meghan Markle and Prince Harry try to avoid his brother Prince William and Kate Middleton. Author Tom Quinn, who wrote the royal book Kensington Palace, an intimate memoir from Queen Mary to Meghan Markle, believes the incident was the start of a rift between the couples. Top royal author claims Meghan allegedly left Kate horrified after a rant at palace staff. He told the Daily Star the foot-stamping complaint at a member of the household appalled William's wife. Quinn claims to have spoken to insiders and believed it was the start of a rift between the couples. And he claims it even led to them trying to avoid each other because it had led their relationship become frosty. The author, who penned Kensington Palace, an intimate memoir from Queen Mary to Meghan Markle, has told all about the moment things became tense. Making matters worse, Harry and Meghan's royal war with Prince William and his wife to age on the brothers are still estranged and have been for some time, an insider tells OK Magazine. They have polite Zoom chats, but the conversation stilted. As for Kate and Meghan, the iciness between them shows no signs of thawing just yet. Meghan will pop her head in during Harry's calls to say hello to William, says the insider, but she doesn't speak to Kate. After a couple incidents, the foot stamping incident and getting cross with one of the people that worked for Kate, there was a kind of frostiness because, as I understand it from my contacts, Harry felt that Meghan was being judged harshly. Harry thought, she's new to the royal family. You've got to make allowances for the fact that she's going to get annoyed sometimes that she's not going to understand that she can maybe have tantrums. Inevitably, Harry backed Meghan, and that caused a bit of a rift. Some of this is well known with William. So when you've got the two couples who are slightly thinking the other couple was difficult, you've got a kind of frostiness that developed, and they tried to avoid each other. They had all been part of a charity that was set up by William and Kate, but Harry and Meghan parted too, and they split. That was such an obvious sign that things were not going well. So really, it's just been those initial incidents, so they ignored each other because they didn't want it to happen anymore. Rumors of a rift were heightened when Meghan and Harry sensationally stepped down as senior royals at the start of the year. They moved to Los Angeles via Canada with baby Archie, and due to the coronavirus pandemic, they have not returned to the UK since. They split from a charity they shared with William and Kate, the Royal Foundation, and have since started their own organization named Archwell. Mr. Quinn continued, Initially, I think both Kate and Megan thought they might become really good friends. Then there was this foot stamping incident, the shouting at the servant, then the frostiness. It is a great shame. The sad thing isn't that they didn't become friends, but in a way, the greater shame is that they were under pressure to become good friends. And why should they become good friends? They are only thrown together by Kate marrying William and Megan marrying Harry. I think they felt, too, there was a lot of pressure for them, so they were terrified. Apparently, when they went to Wimbledon and sat next to each other during the early period before they had fallen out, and there were jokes about, we must be really careful that we smile at each other all the time or the press will think we've fallen out. If you look at the shots, they do make the effort to smile and leaning closer to each other, but that was in the early period when they put on a good show. But even in that early period, there were two very different people. And it's difficult if two people don't have anything in common other than the fact that they are both members of the firm. It's very difficult for them to get on. And though the situation remains tense, it's not for lack of trying on William's part. He really wants to repair the relationship, but Harry's very proud, spills the insider, adding that only time will tell if the once seemingly tight-knit crew can mend fences. Deep down, William and Kate feel bad for Harry and Meghan, notes the source, and just want them to be happy. However, a fan angry and said on the Daily Star, Megan's problem is that she is insanely jealous of William and Kate. She also has no idea how to behave in polite society. She is just loud, demanding, and disrespectful. The reason people dislike her is purely down to her behavior. You conveniently forget Catherine was also widely disliked in the early days, and she is white. The difference is Catherine accepted the public's criticism, buckled down, and worked hard to win their approval something Megan was not prepared to do. Glad she is now gone. But he would like the millions she shafted the UK taxpayer out of repay now she is earning. 
But another fan explains, a family isn't a family if it doesn't have such alterations and strife. So long as the basic financial security is there, they will come running back. The Queen and Charles won't pull the plug on Harry so long as he stays married, but they will be ring-fencing trust as we speak. It was well reported at the time William and Kate wanted to go shooting animals with Meghan and Harry, but Meghan did not agree with it, so William and Kate waited for Meghan to leave, and then they went. Good on Meghan. Shooting animals is disgusting. But I don't think Harry wanted out of the royal family. I think he was hoping Rachel would settle in and become class. It didn't work. She didn't have the background, the knowledge, or the education for such a sophisticated entity. Harry would be go- England's golden boy now if he had married within his class an aristocratic lady of good breeding. I think he thought she would have the same dignified class of Wallace Simpson, but he was sadly mistaken, and I have no doubt she played him along with that demure fake presence. She acts out. With the ring was on her finger, I bet it all changed after that, and she wasn't expecting to be just his wife cutting ribbons and laying flowers twice a week. However, an insider tells OK. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, are gearing up for a dream vacation and in the royal, true royal fashion. No expense will be spared. They're jetting off to an exotic locale with their son, Archie, to relax and decompress, adding that the duo are set to travel via private plane to an exclusive island near the Bahamas, where they'll have their very own butler to attend to their every need. They're looking forward to picnics under the palm trees and strolls on the beach, the insider continues. It'll be heavenly. It couldn't come at a better time for Harry and Meghan, who have been under an enormous amount of stress since relocating to the U.S. earlier this year. They thought to move to Los Angeles and leaving Harry's family and their royal duties behind would be the fresh start they desperately needed, explains the insider. But they've been shocked to find there's still the talk of the town in the States and back in the U.K. Not only has Meghan been dealing with an epic falling out with Queen Elizabeth, but she and Harry are also the subjects of an explosive new book, Royals at War, the untold story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Windsor, which details the former actress's entry into the royal family and the prince's jaw-dropping decision to exit the firm. Meghan and Harry badly need to get away, the insider continues, from everyone and everything. While Harry should be enjoying his new life, Royals at War hints that this hasn't been the case. According to the bombshell tell-all, Harry is filled with regret over abandoning his family and moving thousands of miles away, especially after his father, Prince Charles, 71, was diagnosed with coronavirus in March. It hit home that Charles and the Queen aren't going to be around forever, a source reveals in the book. Harry's gone from feeling excited about the move to feeling secretly tortured. That's not the only shocking revelation. A book also charges that the royal family had major concerns about Harry's whirlwind romance with Meghan, which began the summer of 2016, and that his sister-in-law, Duchess Kate, had even urged him to take things more slowly prior to their May 2018 wedding, which Harry took as a deliberate slight. She gently reminded him that he was dating someone with a completely different life, past and career, states the book, and it would take time, care, and attention for them to integrate. Royals at War also alleges that Meghan embarrassed Harry by divulging she was pregnant with Archie, now 14 months, at his cousin Princess Eugenie's 2018 nuptials. This was a huge social gaffe, even if you were not a royal, stealing the limelight from Eugenie, who was furious, as was her mother, Sarah Ferguson, the book explains. The continuing negative attention has left Meghan and Harry at their breaking point, the insider says, which is why they're thrilled to be packing their bags for an epic summer getaway. Their main goal is to take their minds off what's going on at home, adds the insider. They feel they deserve a break and are willing to spend top dollar to make it super special. The hope is they'll come back to feeling totally refreshed. And you, what do you think about my video news? Please let me know in the comment section below and we'll discuss them together. If you feel so preferred with my video, remember to like and share it for anyone who also needs it. And subscribe to my channel to not miss any new videos by our team. Now, thank you for watching. Goodbye, and see you in the next videos.